I guess the main question is you're going through these kind of different question answer periods and, and the motions and hopping around. Is this met by a thirst for more, a dissatisfaction of kind of the answers you're getting? Like, what, what's that look like? I, I know a lot of people that are asking questions or might feel the same way you feel. So I just kind of clarify the feeling, the emotions behind it. You know, it could be helpful, I think. Sure. Or, yeah. Yeah. I think if you're not willing to challenge uh, the, what you're, you know, what you're brought up with and what you're taught uh, from a young age, if you're not willing to understand the other side of the the coin per se, right? If you're not willing to challenge your own viewpoint from a young child, then um, then you're, it's a difficult thing to grow. Uh, to to really uh, seek the Lord with all your heart um, and all your mind on your own without your parents' perspective, without any other perspective, because God will lead you. Uh, you know, if you ask a question, he'll guide you. Mm -hmm. uh, it, he, he won't leave you alone in that. And so for me, he knew that was the journey that I needed to take to get to where I am today. But what was what was driving you know what was driving that i'm kind of fascinated the idea that someone's like sitting down and they have their you know faith and they they go through a hard time okay i'll, I'll step back up on you know get back on the horse and you know read my scriptures more and go see my pastor more like what's driving you to be like i need to find answers you know it's it's a strange not a lot of people young people go yeah through. i mean i think for me like i said when i hit that moment and when you hear and when i when i felt the lord speak to my spirit and say do you want to continue to be part of mm -hmm. this world and you see the devastation in this world today mm. um, when you realize that you're a part of that when you can continue to be a part of the 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 sin and the devastation um and that christ wants us to follow him so that we don't have to be part of that mm -hmm. any longer uh, you'll pretty much do anything that you need to do uh, mm -hmm. to find him, you know, to, mm. and he says, if you seek, you'll find. Mm. So were you dissatisfied with certain answers you would get, be getting, let's say, in terms of the Eucharist or, or whatnot? Or? Y yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I've always struggled with, um, you know, more of the punchline answer, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and again, I, I am deeply uh, grateful for all of the pastors that are in my life. And I, I don't think it had to do with any um, intentional deception or deceiving. Uh, it's just, um, you know, you know, we were talking and, and it's, it's the understanding of, you know, where we came from the reformation mm -hmm. and um, where that led us. And, you know, it's, it's what we had, right. It's what also they, they had as a, an offer. It's, um, there's a lot of things of pieces of the puzzle that are missing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and I think they stand in the same spot that I did with some of those questions, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So where do those questions take you? How did you get to a point where you found orthodoxy or well so those questions took me to zambia africa <laughs> lovely all right take us there first that's a better question <laughs> yeah. you're better than this than i am all right so um, those questions take you to zambia yeah so uh you know through through that journey in 2018 um I, you know I, I continued to just seek the lord with everything i had and i wanted to serve uh when i was young um my parents took me on a mission trip to dominican republic um, and so, uh, you know, even back then it rooted in me was a love one for travel and then, um, I love to serve. Beach and preach, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's Beach right. and preach. The two week drop in, right? <laughs> but I wanted something more in that too. So I said to the Lord, I said, if it's your, if it's your will, if it's your intention, I want to serve long term. I want to do something, uh, a longer term and I, I want you to work in me and through me uh in in that time so uh i just i opened myself up to it and there was an opportunity uh where there's a mission called all kids can learn zambia a village of hope uh in zambia africa and um they were looking for somebody to come work with the kids and then also my background is the electrical field um so they were looking to do a solar project there so I, uh, I I quit my job in 2018 um, with Schneider Electric, and it was kind of one of those trust steps that I had to take with the Lord. I had to sell my house and quit my career job, and um, you know, well, you weren't doing this half. half. You you go you actually go to Africa. Sold your house. I, I sold everything I had, Full and I way. left with uh, with a bag in my hand. Yeah, nice. And then how does that yeah. how does that go when you get to Zambia and you have no more house and no more job and so um i you know at the time i 
pretty much opened the door and said, I'll stay as long as the Lord leads. I didn't know what that looked like. Um, Can I just ask out of curiosity what mom's saying at this point if you're halfway across the world? <laughs> She's like, I did this too. <laughs> I homeschooled you. <laughs> she absolutely did. And, you know, now I, I currently live right next door to my parents. So I think oh, she right. was pray, she praying pretty back, hard to get back a uh, parent's yeah. prayers. Very strong. Yeah. Especially um, a mother, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, she supported it all the way. She actually, the first trip that we took there was just a short term mission. Uh, early 2018 and she went with me mm, um, wow. so her and um, my my father went with me for that first trip and at that time I didn't know that I was going to go there full time um, but by the time we left I think I know that I knew that I was going back full time and I think they knew as well mm. all right Take us after that. Where where do we get to the the part where you you find some form of orthodoxy or sure. some answer? Sure. Yeah. So then I'm still seeking, right? And and in Africa, the if you've ever been, uh, they will teach you more than you could ever teach them. Uh, you will receive more than you could ever uh, offer them. Uh, uh, but uh, it was about uh, I think a, a month into my stay there, um, I met my now wife. Uh, Marianne, who, uh, who is from the Coptic Orthodox Church. Uh, she was there, uh, for that stay just for a short term mission trip back. Um, she had previously lived, uh, in Zambia and Lusaka at the Coptic mission in Lusaka. Uh, she got connected to the non denominational, uh, Christian mission uh, called All Kids Can Learn uh, when she was li living there. Um, and she was just going back to visit. And that's when, uh, we bumped into each other. So then you bump into each other, but that's not why you became Orthodox. It's certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that only came after. Absolutely. So you were telling us you got married in the Protestant church. We did. So y y you pulled her towards you, right? Into the Protestant church. And then what happens after that that makes you start questioning or... Uh, I mean, like, you, you know, like you've heard in my story, um, it's, it's been a longing and a, and a searching, uh, for a depth of an understanding of, of our faith. Um, and, and, um, it, it's something that never left. Uh, when I was in Zambia, it gave me a lot of time to think. Um, and when I met, uh, Marianne, uh, you know, things developed pretty quickly. Uh, the realization that, um, you know, this was from God. Um, and then the questioning of, of the Orthodox Church, the realization that I believe that, uh, not only did God put her in front of me, uh, you know, um, as a partner, as a spouse, um, but, um, as I was questioning and growing, um, I realized that, uh, you know, she had, uh, the connection with the Coptic Orthodox Church, um, that I was very interested in, uh, and that I was learning from, but, um, I did not want to, what we you know necessarily step into the church just because mm -hmm. um we wanted to get married well, it was not not an, an intention in any way and that I, was not her intention in any way also uh, just a, a background note for people to, to know your father is you you call it a lay pastor in, in a protestant church mm -hmm. correct so how does that go hey dad i'm kind of <laughs> asking questions and I'm finding some answers here. How, how did that go? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that you would find that so many um, we, we don't have that many differences in, in between the heart of uh, of a Protestant believer and an Orthodox believer. I think that there is a depth in the Orthodox Church um, that we uh, have lacked that we're that we are missing. Um, but with my father, we've always, always had a very good relationship, very close relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, at first there was some slight concerns of, uh, you know, me questioning certain things, but it's not something new, uh, for me to question, obviously, mm -hmm. in the Messianic Jewish congregation. And, uh, it's something that I was, uh, seeking out prior to this relationship mom too. wasn't like pulling out her hair saying why are you joining the dark side or anything you know, that wasn't <laughs> well the, a lot of our understanding in in the west and in, in america right is uh you, you see something like that and most of our reference is only the roman catholic church mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. so that's really the only reference that she has to the orthodox church and reformation you're telling me was because of a lot of problematic things in the roman catholic church so for them i 
did they know anything about orthodoxy at the time or the no. differences between it and the, no? No, we didn't know. They didn't know anything about it, nor did I. Um, <laughs> and you know, I, I, I did a good bit of studying on my own, uh, from what I could find. Um, but it was never necessarily, uh, into the Orthodox church. Hmm. 